this is Laura from LightVisions.com and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Pluto going direct on October 10th, 2023. And yes, I am wearing a wig because I'm so sick and tired of my hair. I'm waiting for it to grow out. And I bought this when they first cut my hair. But anyway, long story short, Raquel Walsh, if that's what you want to know. Anyway, uh, Pluto will be going direct at 27 degrees Capricorn. And what does this mean? It means that some of the changes when Pluto was retrograde, right? We've been really rethinking and revising and reevaluating some of the changes that have gone on in our lives, right? And Capricorn has a lot to do with time. It has to do with a long time. It has to do with government. Um, Capricorn rules, uh, you know, it can be delays, or denials, right? Restrictions, right? Because it's ruled by Saturn. And we have Saturn in Pisces, right? So with Pluto going direct on a global scale, I think that maybe we're going to see a lot of changes to government. We may see uh, changes where we feel maybe there's, you know, restrictions. Uh, Saturn is in Pisces. Restriction can have a lot to do with, because Saturn in Pisces can have a lot to do with Pisces can be isolation, site lockdowns, I hate to say that. Um, but Pisces can also be restriction with water, right? So maybe there's issues with fish. Marine life is also uh, Pisces. Um, also water is Pisces as well. Pharmaceuticals can be Pisces too. But so maybe there's some sort of government restriction with these things. I don't know. Okay, but let's just talk about each and every sign right now. So, Aries, for you, there's change. You're working on changes in your status, relationship status, career status, and maybe this is where you feel restricted subconsciously, right? Maybe this is where you feel restricted. Some of you guys may feel restricted physically, like, gosh, I just can't. You may feel like things are a little heavy for you, Aries, you know? But a transformation within your status, career status, relationship status, whatever your title is, there's some sort of change here. And maybe this change is happening over time. That can be too. Saturn in the t uh, 12th house can be in its retrograde. So maybe this is with your subconscious thinking as well. Taurus, this is happening in your ninth house. With There's changes with teaching, writing, publishing, contracts, foreign people, foreign lands. And uh, yes. And I want to say legal as well. And this change may have a lot to do with you feeling restricted from groups, friends, and organizations. You're rethinking and reevaluating friends, groups, and organizations in your life. So maybe, you know, this is, you know, Pluto in the ninth can also be where transformation to your, to your thinking, your higher mind, right? Maybe a belief system you had, you're no longer sharing that belief system anymore. That could be true. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing for Taurus. Gemini, now mind you, these changes aren't just overnight. Pluto was in Capricorn during COVID, right? And then it went into, last year it went into Aquarius and it backed back up into uh, Capricorn again. So we're re rethinking and reevaluating some of these changes that have ha happened. And now Pluto is going direct again in Capricorn. So you may see some more, let me just fix my glasses here, some more government changes, you know? Uh, that's what I'm seeing. Now, Gemini, uh, transformation to money you others, money the OU, investments, and intimate partnership, right? I see changes here. Transformation. It, Pluto in the eighth house can have, have a lot to do with taxes. It can have a lot to do with financial matters, inheritances, stuff like that. And Saturn in the tenth house is where you feel restricted in status, right? So maybe this you're thinking a lot about financial things with the Pluto direct here. So maybe there's changes with money, you others, money, the OU, credit cards, you know, um, changes with inheritance, things like this. Yeah. And you feel kind of like you have to work extra hard for your status. That's what I'm seeing. Cancer, Pluto in the seventh, a, a relationship is changing, whether it's a business partnership or a regular personal partnership. I see that. And I see that you may feel restricted how is this changing? Maybe you're changing your belief system. You're feeling restricted maybe in your belief system or legal. Maybe this is, um, I feel hemmed in legally, right? Or 
Uh, maybe this is, if it's a business partnership, maybe this is, I feel restricted with teaching, writing, publishing, uh, you know, especially if it's a business partnership with like your employer, something like that. Or maybe you feel restricted because of a contract. That's what I'm saying. Leo, I see transformation with your work and day-to-day -day activities, right? In which now you're feeling restricted with joint resources, joint finances, money you owe others, money they owe you. So there's going to, you, you may make some changes within your work and day-to-day -day activities because of money you owe others, money they owe you. Maybe you're making changes with an intimate partnership too, because also Saturn and the eighth can be an intimate relationship. Virgo, for you, there's changes with children, creative projects, romantic situations. And I see you, um, this may have a lot to do with a partner because you're feeling restricted because of it. You're rethinking and reevaluating some restriction with partnership, others, business partnerships, clients, something like that. I see change. So maybe some of you are changing a creative project. Some of you could be making changes with children because of a restriction with a partner, something with partnership that you're rethinking and reevaluating. Um, some of you guys could be making a change with a romantic relationship <clears throat> because of restriction with a partner. I see that as well. Libra, you're making changes to your home and family situation, right? I see change going forward with a home and family situation because you feel restricted when it comes to your work health or your day-to-day -day activities. That's what I'm seeing. All right, Scorpio, this is you making changes with communication, siblings, neighbors, some sort of change here, maybe with a vehicle, maybe um, changes maybe with, you know, I don't know. Pluto can also rule siblings, neighbors, vehicles, webinars, seminars, but because you, you feel restricted when it comes to children, creative projects or romantic situations. Maybe you're, you're changing the way you put yourself out there. You're communicating in some way, shape, or form, right? And, and yeah, there, there's something with communication that you're making changes on. Now, this is at a deep level. Pluto is at a deep level. And it, the change just doesn't happen overnight. It's over time. Sagittarius, this is changes to a financial situation because you feel restricted with your home and family situation. So maybe you're making some changes in your work and how you bring in money. <clears throat> Now, I'm going to tell you, Pluto, as far as finances goes, let me just check this really quick. I'm going to get this paper here. I'm going to show you Pluto. Pluto, when it comes to money, you may make money through research, investigators, insurance, death-related fields, longevity-related fields, technology, espionage, psychologists, or metaphysics, x-ray technicians, something like that, looking beneath the surface. So Sagittarius, with Pluto in your second house... <laughs> You got to be careful of power struggles and power plays with money, too. Okay. But it looks like you feel restricted in a home and family situation. Um, now, Capricorn, I see you making changes with yourself as a person, right? Again, Pluto in the first house, be careful of power struggles and power plays. Um, you may feel restricted with communication. You're rethinking and reevaluating some restriction when it comes to communication. Rethinking and reevaluating, right? You may have you may have also issues with siblings and neighbors with Saturn in the third house. Okay, <clears throat> keep that in mind. <clears throat> okay, Aquarius, Pluto's in the twelfth house. There's changes to your subconscious thinking or changes happening behind the scenes, and they have a lot to do with <clears throat> you feeling restricted financially. Now with Saturn in your second house, you're going to have to work extra hard to make the money, and right now you're rethinking and reevaluating money. How do I make this long term? How do I create more security and stability for my life? Right? I see that happening for you as well. Okay. Pisces, Pluto is in your 11th house. So it changes with friends, groups, and organizations. You know, maybe you're thinking this friendship has outlived its life or this group or organization because you feel restricted as a person. Now, because Saturn's in your first house, you may feel restricted with a partner, your status, and home and family. So I see you making changes with friends, groups, organizations. Anyway, this is, this is Pluto in 10 minutes and Pluto direct. I hope this is helpful. If you want a reading, links are right here. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.